Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a very exciting tutorial based on how to create a basic custom thumbnail for your very own YouTube video. First of all, you'll be needing three important files for this project. I'll be putting the download links in the description below. So, the first file you'll be needing is this uh, a really nice background. I chose this rising sun background because I really liked it. I don't care if you don't like it. The second thing you'll be needing is a Photoshop CS6 logo if you're creating a tutorial video uh, based on a software like Photoshop. You can uh, add another logo if uh, your software is different. The third thing you'll be needing is, an, is a screenshot of optical flares. You can get this screenshot from uh, videocopilot.net or from the description uh, below. I've posted a link. Uh, on how to download it and you can also get it from Google so we'll be creating something like this or something like this first of all open a new file uh, make sure uh, uh, let the file be uh, 1920 into, into 1080 let the width be 1920 and height be 1080 let the resolution be 72 color mode RGB color and background co contents white and rename the file as YouTube thumbnail hit OK uh, so you got the workspace here so the first thing you might want to do is grab the background and uh, bring it into the workspace and adjust it according to your needs the second thing you might want to do is grab the text tool and create a nice text box after choosing the color you need um, I've, I'm, cho I'm using the font revolution and I've set the size as 170 points you can I'll be providing a download link of the font in the description below write uh, whatever you want to write in the text box increase the size hit the check mark uh, the check mark and uh, Place it wherever you want, wherever you think is a good place. Go to text, layer blending options and let's give a nice layer style to the text. Hit drop shadow, go to bevel and emboss, go to settings, reduce the depth to 1, reduce the size to 1. Make sure the soften, soften is set as 0, go to drop shadow, increase the distance. Uh, a bit according to your needs and make sure the angle is set as 90 degree then increase the spread a bit according to your needs and increase the size so basically tweak with the settings for a better result uh, after getting a nice result hit ok and uh, next thing you might want to do is grab the text tool and make another text box and write your video's title. Uh, in this video I'll be writing my custom thumbnail. Hit the check mark and what you what would be recommended is change the fill to black as it would look good uh, when we do the next effects. Uh, hit, uh, place it according to your needs. Hit control and make it a big so that it can occupy most of the background then uh, go to the tutorial layer and copy the layer style and paste it to the my custom thumbnail layer so basically what this does is copies the layer style of a specific file and pastes it into another layer next thing you might want to do is grab the Photoshop CS6 or any other logo and drag it to the workspace then uh, choose the magic wand tool and hi hit on the black area press delete this would remove the black background to deselect pre press control D then press control T to scale it down a bit according to your needs and place it wherever you want and do the same with this Photoshop CSX logo layer. Paste the layer style and just tweak a bit with the settings. 
in this I'm gonna increase the size a bit hit ok the last thing you might want to do is grab this optical flares uh, and set the blending mode as screen and paste uh, I mean place it wherever you want and wherever you think it's nice I will paste it I will place it right here at the tutorials th second T reduce the size a bit by pressing control T and hit the check mark so that is it guys your custom thumbnail is ready save it out and upload it also to mention guys this is my first tutorial video I hope it went well I'll be really pleased if you guys like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for great updates in the future thank you for watching guys I hope it helped you guys